Hello and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. I'm Casey. I am a recruitment officer at Fanshawe. I will be the host for today's session. So just before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. So your audience webcams and mics are turned off right now for the session. If you have any questions though throughout the session, you can submit them through the questions feature. So to open that questions feature, you can just click on the question mark along your dashboard. Uh, following the session, we will have time for some Q&A from the ones that have been submitted, and we will do our best to get through all of them within the session time that we have. Uh, if you have any other questions that come up after today, we recommend that you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca, and you can book an appointment with one of our recruiters. I'll send that email uh, out in the chat so you have it. And just one other little reminder, if you have any uh, other programs that are running right now, it might compromise your webinar experience. So we just recommend that you take a moment right now to close anything that might be open before we begin the session. So further, we're going to introduce Leanne Waller, who's going to be speaking about uh, design foundations today at Fanshawe. I will be back at the end for the live Q&A, but right now I'm going to pass it over to Leanne. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Casey. Well, welcome, everybody, uh, to our session today. Thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to join us. Um, so I'm going to get started on uh, our presentation. So obviously, you're in Design Foundations. I'm the coordinator of two programs at the college, Fashion Design and Design Foundations. I've been at the college for almost 20 years. Um, here's my contact information if you're wanting to email and follow up with anything. But let me just say that I know that, you know, shopping around for what's the right program and what's the right college for you is not an easy decision. I have three kids of my own, so I understand how, you know, you need to kind of look at all of uh, the information and make the best decision for you. So I'm hoping today to provide you with some of the answers that you might have in the presentation. And uh, like, as uh, Casey said, um, um, any questions that you've got, you can put in the chat and we'll address those at the end. So just thought I'd show you a quick picture of some of the faculty uh, come from a variety of backgrounds and uh, work within other uh, areas within the, the college, uh, specifically within uh, the School of Design. So getting a really well-rounded uh, faculty that are uh, really keen to uh, be in this program. Um, so just first off, I wanted to let you know this is a one-year, I'm sure that you've already done some research, but it's a one-year preparatory uh, program that's really designed to help you figure out your specialty, what you would like to do once you finish this one-year uh, program. So lots of the focus with our curriculum is color theory, 2D and 3D principles, visual communication, idea development, um, starting to put together your portfolio and being able to present, uh, and some intro to some design technologies. So the idea is this year of uh, setting some goals, uh, learning some new things, and maybe refining some of the skills that you already have with the guidance of our amazing faculty that, and through some really great hands-on projects that you're going to be really well-rounded making a decision for what your career-directed program will be going forward and, and set yourself up for uh, the future. So um, with our curriculum, uh, some good news is once you've completed our program, you will be able to take four of those credits along with you to any other program within, within the college. So there will be two general ed, gen ed electives and your RIT and your COM. So you'll earn those credits in the uh, one year uh, in Design Foundations and those are transferable to other, other programs. So what you'll do is you'll reduce your load um, in, in some of the semesters uh, by having those credits. So just to have a bit of a glimpse um, of what the courses look like in semester one and semester two, I'll kind of put them both up. Some of them are sort of uh, level one will kind of, you know, be this, the second stage, like the advanced level in level two. And some it's sort of just a course that sits in, in the fall or the winter semester. So semester one is the fall. So we have computers for design. So uh, kind of introduction to Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, 
um, uh, Premiere Rush, a little bit of uh, uh, video editing in there as well. And then going on into computer technology for design, it's sort of a bit more advanced where you're learning um, some techniques within SketchUp, um, Chief Architects, where you're being able to actually create some plans and some 3D vis visualizations with that. Um, then the next course, looking down semester one and kind of looking at it, what it looks like in semester two is drawing basics. So drawing basics is really what it sounds like. We're exposing you to some different medium, uh, exposing you to drawing still life, um, uh, life drawing, um, even even things that would be more involved with you know set design and store layout, that kind of thing. So perspective drawing, those things like that. And then into second semester, it's sort of a continuation, but we're calling that more of analytical drawing so um, you know doing some to scale uh, kind of drawing and sort of honing your skills a little bit more there then if I look at sort of three number three in semester one and semester two those are both your studios so were you doing a lot of experimentation and doing some projects so in uh, the fall semester it's uh, a lot of focus on color and design principles and then moving into semester two you're working from going from 2d to 3d uh, design Design Pathways is in the fall semester. So this is a course that I teach and I'll show you some slides kind of coming up, some visuals. But basically what I'm doing is having you kind of um, look at yourself um, and, and look at your strengths. And we do a few different things like Myers-Briggs testing and things like that, where you're kind of looking at who you are and what would be a great fit that fits who you are, what your skills, what your strengths, your values. And as you're kind of looking at to what am I going to do with my next part of my education um, is making sure that sort of fits along with who you are. So along with that, we do a lot of workshops where I'm introducing you to lots of different design um, areas and careers that you could get into. Um, then it doesn't continue into the winter semester, although I've had lots of students say they would love for that to happen. Uh, but what we do have is a history of design survey, which is really important that you have that kind of understanding of the history of design. So uh, more of a history course, but very project uh, based. Uh, then we have creative concepts. So this is one of your gen ed electives. This is a course that's been designed by graphic design. So this is all about sort of thinking outside of the box and thinking creative, creative, creatively and some different really uh, unique techniques to come up with some uh, creative ideas uh, and ideation. Um, and then, so that again doesn't continue on and what comes in place of that is um, you're putting together your portfolio. So some of you may be looking at putting a portfolio together for your next career directed program that you're applying to or just to start your your uh, your work and and starting to kind of put your best work forward so you'll be putting together a portfolio um, digitally as well as manually and working on how you're going to present your ideas as to be a, a designer or in an art field of any kind you need to be able to talk about your work um, and be able to present so that's kind of a big focus as well. A new course that I'll again show you a couple of visuals for is designing a sustainable future. So that's a new a new course. It probably sounds, you know, the title really kind of explains it. And like I said, I'll show you a couple slides that go along with that. And the last two that are on the list for, for fall and for winter, those are the um, credits that you'll be able to take forward with your other courses. Uh, RIT is something that all programs need to take or you write an assessment that you can um, be opted out of taking that, as well as then there's communications for design, which is also um, a communications course is required by for all courses um, at the college. So I'll talk about designing a sustainable future a, a little bit more because that's really a new course and really, um, really, really interesting. So this course is to really understand the impact and the critical role of sustainable design, something that lots of people are talking about. And we've integrated in um, a, a standalone course as well as we're actually, you know, threading it through our other courses as well. Sustainability being really an, an important uh, thing to think about. So lots of workshops and interactive learning 
learning that students will explore, such as responsible consumption, environmental concerns, social and cultural uh, issues, economic implications of sustainable design related to food, shelter, transportation, and waste. And so even this year, um, under you know COVID kind of restrictions, we have been able to go to some of our other schools and kind of do some of these workshops, socially distanced, of course, but um, uh, to be able to kind of look at um, things like we went to Cuddy Gardens and we uh, were looking at how how they compost and how they are a sustainable garden and they, how they don't use pesticides and all of those kinds of things. So just, you know, some eye-opening kind of things like that. So the idea of the Design Foundations program is that you're kind of looking at what am I going to do beyond this? This is given, going to give me a really good base, really good understanding of what it's going to be like to be in college, learning some new skills, learning about yourself, getting a portfolio together. And then within the School of Design, we have eight different programs that would directly relate to design. Um, so fashion, fashion design, fashion marketing management, graphic design, GIS and urban planning, landscape design, interior decorating, horticulture, and theater arts technical production. So these are, I mean, not that you have to choose one of these, but these are some programs that we have. We certainly do have students that complete the design foundations and go into something um, you know, slightly different. Some will go into uh, one of the media programs. We've had some go into the broadcast program. We've had a few look at going into 3D animation or interactive design. So, um, you know, those are also things that you can explore, but these are directly within the curriculum. We are looking at exposing you to some of uh, all of those um, different programs that we offer at the School of Design. So some of the workshops that we've done over uh, the past years, so here we are, students uh, are together with the second year GIS and urban planning students and we're doing a ge geocaching trip. And we actually were able to do this as well because it was a beautiful day and we were outside. So this isn't this year because we all had our masks on and we were not together like that. But we were able to work with those students and get out and do some geocaching. So using um, GPS coordinates and kind of getting around the downtown area. We were at the Thames Valley um, area, uh, downtown or Forks of the Thames rather, and it was a great uh, experience for the students. Um, another workshop that we do, and so this is one that I lead because I'm also a coordinator in the fashion design program. So students um, play around with um, doing some three-dimensional three sculpts using fabric and testing out, um, you know, creating a design. And so, you know, I'm not expecting students to be uh, proficient at this. They, you know, it's just an experience and an experience that's hands-on that then, you know, reflect about, blog about how, what you liked, what you didn't like. And then, you know, and that's okay if you did it and you hated it. Um, you're not being evaluated on your ability to do this. This is just simply an experience. Um, but it sort of adds to your repertoire of things that you are considering or are not considering. Uh, we, I talked about Cuddy Gardens. This is uh, the previous year where we were working in the, um, in the greenhouse, but we did do something similar this year out at Cuddy Gardens uh, along with the tour and seeing how um, sustainable their gardens are. And we did some uh, repopulating uh, of plants and, and clippings and things like that. So students getting their hands dirty and getting an idea of what that looks like. Interior decorating is uh, an area that a, a lot of students are interested in. So we um, we use their software, either a Chief Architect or um, or SketchUp, and we uh, design a condo. And so in one sort of three-hour workshop session, you're not going to be proficient at it. You're not going to get a job out of doing this, but you're really going to have at least a sense of what um, this program or this type of career might be like. Um, and so it's it's really powerful to actually be doing that. Also, lots of students are interested in graphic design. And so again, this, you know, this one year and our design foundations program will just make you that much more successful in your chosen career or, you know, career directed path. So uh, the workshop that we do is we have the uh, coordinator or one of their faculty come in and we do a self-branding logo uh, workshop. So, you know, lots of thumbnail sketches and then taking it um, to a final uh, logo where they'll take that to using Illustrator um, uh, and, and doing that on, on computer program. Um, 
not sure if we're going to do this workshop this year uh, just due to COVID restrictions, but um, we sort of have been involved in creating a little play where we're thinking about set design, lighting, sound, um, and sort of, you know, kind of getting ourselves enthralled in sort of the theatre and seeing how that is also an opportunity that you can use your creativity and uh, so doing some workshops there. So we'll do something. We just may not be able to do exactly what we've done um, in the past. Fashion marketing management is another area that is very creative and related. Um, and so what we do with this is we do a photo styling. Um, so getting an idea of how to take a product and um, take the best uh, pictures of it. And then we, we take those pictures later on and create a poster. So it sort of translates into one of your other courses that you're using those images and, uh, and able to kind of, um, you know, take that project uh, through to fruition. Um, landscape design. Uh, last year I had um, a, a, a company uh, come in and uh, pitch kind of an idea and it was a redesign for Marymount uh, Gardens. So it's not that gardens the way that they are right now are not being utilized in the way that they want them to for families. And so students were uh, collaborating with landscape design students and using overlays of, of paper and coming up with some ideas that would make this um, a more uh, appealing for families and for young children to go into these gardens and uh, you know uh, and be enthralled in and activities whether it was musical instruments out there or textural feeling things or sitting in the sun or sitting in the shade just you know some different ideas um, and then another area that lots of students are interested in, we don't actually offer anything directly at the college, but wanted to offer it up as, a, as an opportunity is industrial design. So I had an industrial designer come in, um, kind of talk about what that process looks like. And then we, uh, we did a workshop where they were creating water bottles for a specific customer. Um, so this was kind of one, a spacewalk water bottle. So somebody who's going to outer space needs a water bottle. This, um, these students were coming up with ideas and modeling it in clay. So just to give you an idea of some student work, um, so lots of experimentation using lots of different media. Um, this was kind of day one when students come as we do some sidewalk uh, chalk art, um, just getting students to know each other and to, you know, kind of beautify um, some of the, the pathways outside of the school. Um, some, um, you know, creative reflection using sculptural and using recycled products. Here students are working in a studio, kind of working on a, a group project together. Um, and then some of their computer applications. So I, I mentioned going into uh, uh, taking some pictures for one of the workshops and then taking that image and bringing it into um, a poster. Uh, another um, computer application is to come up with uh, drawing icon sets. So here's just some examples of some icon sets for food, um, even um, like comic strips or animation um, videos. This was um, some work that was up on display in the gallery um, within the, the college to, to kind of show the work. And then going into semester two, um, so I'm not going to be able to, whoops, I'm not going to be able to show these next two slides. So uh, wearable art show, we partner up with the fashion marketing management students and we were using um, recycled objects from Lexus, from the car dealership. So these are car bags um, and I think there's even some old catalogs and some car parts. And so it, it's not really something really wearable in the sense that we would wear this every day, but sort of a wearable art and one of our design foundation students won second prize for her creation um, of, of up, upcycling um, this uh, work this uh, stuff from Lexus. This um, will provide the link that you can see this, but this is a SketchUp vis visualization, so something that would happen in, in semester two. So once you kind of use SketchUp to build the building and put things in, you're able to do a walkthrough, a 3D visualization. Um, and so those are tools that are, you know, you're seeing more and more. That's how you're being able to see condos and things that are not being, haven't been built yet, but yet you're able to see it. So that's kind of the idea um, here. 
A focus within this program is live client project. So it's a different uh, client every year. Um, two years ago, it was Toboggan, uh, which is a restaurant that's on Richmond Street in, in London. Um, and they brew their own beer. And it's uh, also a, a restaurant as well. And so students were coming up with um, Instagram uh, kind of uh, art that could be promoted out uh, for to to promote toboggan. Um, so students go there for a tour and in that particular year they got to taste some beer and uh, so that that was a fun one. I think the previous year was the London Ice Creamery so they did a similar thing and this past year it was London Brew. Um, not that we're stuck on promoting uh, alcohol but they're kind of a fun place to be able to you know come up with these Instagram um, art pieces that students really got and this is this is some of their examples of their work that they then you know put out on Instagram and and shared so re really great um, as, as I mentioned students will develop a portfolio so here's kind of a snippet of uh, Guise uh, he uh, was an international student uh, from Brazil and so he put together a compilation of uh, some of his better work that he had done over the year um, to come up with kind of a, a shorter uh, portfolio so you can kind of see some of the variety of work um, that he's got in there all the way from his uh, his sculpture that he did his self-reflection sculpture um, to his upcycled project using cardboard to um, you know some beautiful illustrations um, so just lots of you know great work that kind of shows the diversity of who he is. Um, so just a, a graduate testimonial that I wanted to uh, share with you um, is that uh, I, I won't read the whole thing but you know I think what um, I'd like to focus on is every one of our teachers wanted to get to know to uh, us better and find out what we were passionate about to lead us in the direction of study um, that we wanted to pursue and that is really our goal is to really help you kind of figure out what your direction is um, through giving you know learning new skills honing your other skills and kind of really understanding who you uh, are as, as a person um, and so that was uh, really powerful to get that you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook uh, Fanshawe College Design Foundations or Design Foundations so if you wanted to see um, some work and things that are getting events and things that are getting posted there this is my contact information so lwaller at fanshawec.ca so I'm happy to answer any questions specifically about the program if you've got other questions than the um, a uh, link that uh, Casey's going to give you is probably better if you've if you've got something questions about timing or how do I apply those kinds of questions, but specifically about the program, for sure, email me and I'll I'll give you um, that information. Awesome! Thank you so much, Leanne, for giving us so much information about what Design Foundations is all about. So we do have some time for some questions. If you did want to ask a question, remember you can send it through the questions feature. It's just on the right hand side of where your dashboard is. There should be a, uh, a question mark there. You can submit. Uh, we have a few questions that did come in, so we'll start with those. And then if you have any questions after this session today, I'm going to send you the email from myfuture at fanshawc.ca and also where you can book an appointment if you do have anything more to chat about. So a couple of questions we have that start off with, uh, how many hours of classes should be expected uh, per week and how many hours of homework can we okay. expect? So I would say on average, it's about 20 hours per week give or take, um, depending on which semester. And we really, in Design Foundations, try to have a lot of in-class time to complete lots of the work. I'm not saying that there isn't you know, going to be some work outside of class time, but I would say you know, maybe, maybe another 15 hours a week in homework uh, at, at max. Um, it, you know, if you're attending classes, you're going to be able to get the majority of your work done in class. But to be, you know, safe to, you know, kind of for planning, I would say another maybe 12 to 15 hours. Okay, great. Uh, another question, do I need a specific laptop? And if so, what kind should I get? So we don't really, you know, we don't really uh, require you to have a laptop, although it's much easier if you do. Um, we tend to use PCs. Most of the faculty that are teaching in Design Foundations use PCs. However, we have had students that use MacBooks. And certainly, if you're thinking about getting into graphic design after, a MacBook is probably your investment that you want to, um, you know, kind of get into. 
Um, but it's just a Windows 10, 16 gig, 64 bit operating system. Nothing too crazy at this point. We're not using any software that takes, you know, a whole lot of uh, power. Um, you know, that would be what you have to kind of look for is, you know, what you might be doing after if you want to get something a little bit better with, you know, better graphics cards and things like that. If you're looking at getting into a program where that's important. Do students need any specific software? Or will that be something they can get through the college? Yeah, no, they'll be able to get everything that they need through the college. In fact, you know, I'll just answer another question that often comes up along with software is textbooks. There is not one textbook to purchase. Um, so the only thing that we've put together is we've put together a kit of supplies that just makes it handy for you. It's got all the markers and paper and, you know, everything that you would need for the whole year. It's about $250. It's not a requirement. You will need those things. But if you have a lot of those supplies, then you can use what you have. So we're trying to keep the cost as far as any textbooks and things like that at, at a real um, low cost. Great. Um, another question, what can I do to prepare for this program? I mean, I think just being creative, just kind of, uh, you know, kind of searching around, uh, you know, go to Behance uh, uh, and take a look at some of the beautiful visuals that are somewhere like that. And there's lots of even jobs there that you can look at. Um, and just sort of try to, you know, kind of think about what you think that you might, you know, be interested in because lots of the projects as you get into it we allow you to kind of take it on and and make and direct it into what you're interested in to, and so you know that it's just it's just being curious and being interested in in design and in art and so the more that you do um, the better that you're you're going to to get at it the more practice that you have so I don't think anything that you would do would be a hindrance there's nothing specific as far as any you know actual websites or any softwares or anything that you need to have ahead of time I I think just being open to being creative. Okay, so do I need to be good at art or be a good drawer for this program or will that help build upon those skills? Um, I, I wouldn't say you have, I mean, you have to want to, to learn. Um, certainly we're starting from sort of scratch, like we don't expect you to come in at a certain level. So we start very, you know, basic and then it's a progression from there. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can be a designer and not be that great at art because eventually there's going to be lots of tools, uh, especially computer softwares that are going to assist you in, in doing that. So if you're not that great, you know, by hand, eventually, as long as you've got the idea ideas, right? It's the creative thoughts. Um, we're going to teach you how to, you know, get that out on paper and communicate that visually. Excellent. So that kind of brings us to the close of our session. So thank you again, Leanne, for spending the time with us today to talk about everything Design Foundations. Uh, for those students who did submit questions, thank you so much. Uh, if, again, I'm going to post in the chat. There are links there that uh, Leanne talked about in terms of if you want to watch the videos for the wearable art event, uh, if you want to check out the Design Foundations program link, it's all there in the chat. I've also posted the email address for myfutureatvansha.ca, or if you did want to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a recruiter about more admission-based questions or you know timings of uh, you know the application cycle, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's there in the chat for you. And uh, just one last little piece of housekeeping: if you uh, look out for your emails this week, because we will be sending you some more details about our open house activity that's going to be happening this Saturday. So again, I just want to thank you, uh, Leanne, for taking the time to speak with us today about the program, and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their open house experience. Thank you, and thanks everybody for joining us. Best of luck making your decision.